So we are done with the types of storage classes in C. Now I have got some questions from students based on storage classes. Like some query questions are also there and some code is given and you are supposed to find out output of that uh, code in C programming, right? So those three questions we are going to discuss in this video, right? We'll explain, I, I'm going to explain the solution also like step by step why you are getting that kind of output if any error is there in that program why th that error is there right everything about those questions we are going to discuss in this video now let's see first question is this one here i haven't used any I, I, I haven't used any storage class so we have a global variable this is a global variable right and in main i'm just printing this value of a in return zero now i have told you by default if you have written this things then by default the storage class would be considered as O2 right but second point I have also told you like we cannot write something like this O2 int A the global declaration O2 is O2 we can use this uh, storage class this keyword we can use only with local variables no global declaration is allowed Lo only local declaration is allowed right so now what first of all what should be the value and, and second question is under which storage class this global variable comes right so now the answer first of all the answer of this question would be zero output of this uh, code would be zero by default global variables are to be assigned with the zero value right and second answer of second question is the global variable comes under which category external storage class and we were discussing external storage class at that time i have told you the default value for external storage class this uh, you know variable would be zero so that global variable also having value 0. So these are not coming under O2, right? These are coming under X term. So I hope now you got the answer of these two questions, right? Now ne next question is, okay, this is the second question. Here we are using static storage class, right? So first of all, the program, the control will go to main function whenever you will run that code. Then here we have for loop. Now first of all first statement is initialization then condition check then the updation increment or decrement right. But in and here for the three places we have we are calling fun function it is okay that is correct no problem. Whatever is written just follow those steps right. Now first is initialization first control will go here now here we are calling fun function. So control will go here this is definition of fun. Now here we have a variable static int num num value is 16 now it is static this keyword this is very important you have to keep in mind the property of this static keyword right it will retain its previous value right scope is local but lifetime of this variable is till the end of the program fine now return num minus minus now first of all it is post decrement so it will return the previous value first and then it is going to decrement it is post not pre so it will return 16 first return num 16 would be returned here and now 16 becomes 15 right minus minus next is condition would be checked but at the place of condition also we are calling the function so again control will go here now this statement static int num is equal to 16 again it would be, would be initialized no right because this is static here we are using static so this would be ignored it will retain its previous value that is 15 only this is the tricky part in this question that's it nothing else now 15 only no no again not be initialized with 16 so it is now 15 now return num so 15 value would be returned here and now become num minus minus so it becomes now 14 after returning the original value now the condition is 15 it means it's not 0 means it's true 0 is only false other than 0 it's true so if it is true we are going to enter into this for loop now here we have one condition printf again we are calling function it's okay again control will go here this would not be initialized again so it will return the previous value that is 14 first here 14 would be returned and now value becomes 13 so first of all output would be 14 would be printed right now next step is we will go to this part update part but here also no increment decrement we are calling the function again so it's okay again we are call, we will call the function now again the previous value is 13 so it will return first of all 13 here and then value becomes 12 minus minus right now after update we will again check the condition 
right now for checking the condition we the control will come here so function calling it's okay again we will call this function now it will return here the previous value of num that is 12 and now it becomes 11 minus minus so 12 is what also not 0 it's true so we are going to enter into this loop again we will call the function fun right and now this time 11 would be returned 11 so 11 would be printed and value becomes 10 minus minus after returning the previous value now minus minus means it would be one decremented now after printing here 11 now value becomes 10 so now the part is this part so here we are again calling the function so now 10 value would be returned and now value becomes 9 now after this we will check the condition again but for checking the condition again we will call the function now here 9 would be returned and value becomes now 8 so condition 9 is true not 0 ok we will enter into this loop again we will call the function now 8 would be returned so 8 would be printed and now value becomes 7 right now after this here again we will call the function from here right and this time 7 would be returned and value becomes 6 now we will check the condition here again we will call the function so 6 would be returned and value becomes 5 6 is not 0 so it's true again we will enter into this for loop and fun we will call the fun function again so now this time 5 would be returned so 5 would be printed and value becomes 4, 4 minus minus right now here increment decrement part update part so here again we are we will call the function now 4 would be returned and value becomes 3 now we will check the condition so we will call the function again now 3 would be returned here and value becomes 2 right now 3 is true yes we will enter into this loop now at this time 2 would be returned we are calling the function again so 2 would be returned and this becomes 1 now again this part so again we will call the function so here now 1 would be returned and value becomes 0 now we will check the condition again now again we will call the function and now this time 0 would be returned and this becomes minus 1 so this is what condition so if this is true only this is true then only we will enter into this loop 0 means false so now we are not going to enter into this loop so now return 0 exit from the loop so what output you will get this one 14 11 8 5 2 I hope you got this working of this one, right? These type of questions generally you get in competitive exam in gate or net, right? Those are having this static keyword. So you have to, you know, remember the property of the static keyword, right? So we are having two more questions, but that, those questions we'll discuss in next video. If you have any question, like you think this is complicated one, I'm not getting the answer of this question or answer you are getting, but you are not getting the reason of getting that type of answer or error based on stories class or based on anything any topic on C language then you can tell me in comment box you can just send me that you know question or you can send me that question screenshot of the uh, screenshot of that question on my Instagram account you can message me I'm I'll try to upload a video on that question also right now I'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care wait if you think that any topic is left in C programming then you then also you can tell me in comment box i'll try to upload video on that topic also but from my side i guess i have completed c programming so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care